daily devotion with Pastor Bala for September 30th, 2021 from Psalm chapter 69, a plea for mercy, part two, verse 13. But as for me, my prayer is to you, O Lord, at an acceptable time, O God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, answer me in your saving faithfulness. Deliver me from seeking into the mire. Let me be delivered from my enemies and from the deep waters. Let not the flood waters sweep over me or the deep swallow me up or the pit closes its mouth over me. At an acceptable time, the psalmist leaves it up to God as the timing of when and how God will answer the prayer for mercy. Even though the timing is uncertain, the psalmist still has a certainty that God will indeed answer. Verse 16, Answer me, O Lord, for your steadfast love is according to your abundant mercy. Turn to me. Hide not your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Make haste to answer me. Draw near to my soul. Redeem me, ransom me because of my enemies. The psalmist calls to God to draw closer to him, to draw near to him, and not to hide from him. But for us, we need to realize that the psalmist, when he's in distress, looks to God and the nearness of God and the psalmist as the solution. Do we do the same things when we're also in distress? Do we come running to God and saying, Lord, have mercy in our plea? Do we trust in God as the only solution? Verse 19, you know my approach and my shame and my dishonor. My foes are all known to you. Reproaches have broken my heart so that I am in despair. I looked for pity but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food, and for my thirst, they gave me sour wine to drink. In verse 19, the psalmist acknowledges his sin and the burdens of carrying around that sin. Verse 20, the psalmist notes that there is no comfort in this world to be found. So keep this in mind as then we get to verse 21 because it leads us to the source of our comfort. The sour wine to be drunk is fulfilled by Christ when he dies on the cross. Let's pick this up from Matthew's account in Matthew chapter 27, verse 34. They offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but, he, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. The cross. This is the place for our comfort, for the burden of sin and the atonement of our sin. It is interesting that through the Holy Spirit, the psalmist sort of sees this, is a, sort of like a prophetic vision, sees the cross of Jesus, but yet the enemies cannot. The enemies don't see the forgiveness of sins that come from God. Verse 22, let their own table before them become a snare, and when they are at peace, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see and make their loins tremble continually. It's interesting that St. Paul uses this idea in this psalm verse in Romans, from Romans chapter 11, verse 9, and David says, let their table become a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a retribution for them. Let their eyes be darkened so that they cannot see and bend their backs forever. St. Paul notes that those who don't see the forgiveness of Christ through the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, it's sort of like they're maintaining their sins and it's bending their backs. They're bearing that burden of their sin and that burden is gonna last forever. However, Christ Jesus doesn't want us to suffer with that burden of sin, especially to suffer forever. 
So what does Christ do? He goes to Calvary's cross. He dies on the cross to take away the burden of sin for the entire world. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.